I do think if aliens landed, uh, I would be a little bit nervous about how they would judge us, okay? <laughs> Specifically based on where they land, you know? Like if they land in Portland versus Texas, you know what I mean? <laughs> Give them two very different opinions about America. First off, they probably wouldn't land because <laughs> would you interrupt the most insane movie you've ever seen? You know? <laughs> right before the whole explosion happens? No. If aliens landed in Portland, you can imagine somebody coming up to them being like, hi, welcome, welcome, come on in. Welcome. We have an open ozone policy, yes. <laughs> come on in, sir. Ma'am, what are your pronouns? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, welcome, mm -hmm. come in. Yeah, you need a place to stay? We suggest the streets of San Francisco. Here's $800 a month and make sure you vote. But if they land in Texas, dude, imagine them running into this guy. <laughs> Walking up to him like, hey, 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 you fucking alien, you legal? <laughs> uh huh. What does that ship run on? Gravity? <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> That's a nice looking gun. Mm -hmm. All right, you can stay, just don't try to turn my kids gay, you know? <laughs> you know, there's just, uh, there's so much that people talk about in this country that people try to change and fix and, and evolve and progress and hold back. And a main conversation that's happening right now is around gender and gender roles and men and women and power imbalances. And I can already tell there's some tension in the room right now. <laughs> I get it. Ladies, you're looking at me like you're doing voodoo kegels under the table. <laughs> Like one of y'all is trying desperately to sacrifice me to Gwyneth Paltrow or something. <laughs> it's okay, stay with me. <laughs> you know, even the best movements have unseen consequences. And I saw something recently that really like shook me to my core, okay? And I wanna share it with you tonight, all right? This happened at Disneyland, <laughs> okay? And I witnessed an unseen consequence of what many believe to be a great movement, all right? There was a family that was walking behind us. Husband, wife, two kids, like seven, eight years old. And as they walked past, the father said to his family these words in this order, in this tone. This is all I heard as they walked by. He said to them, guys, can we please have one day with no churros? <laughs> <laughs> I want you guys to really sit with that for a second. <laughs> Feel the weight of that request, that desperation in his voice. This man who may have once been the patriarch, the breadwinner, the traditional seed giver, <laughs> reduced to the point where he can't even call his family by name. He has to shout out with the desperate guys. Guys, can we please, he begs, can we please, says the emasculated piece of fucking shit, can we please, <laughs> says the man who has lost all dignity and respect from his family, can we please have one day, one day, that's all he wants is a day, 24 hours, a blink, a wink, a Sabbath, if you will. <laughs> one day's break. Without what, I thought, without what? What could this man have been so immortally traumatized by that he's reduced to the point where he can't even get the minimum respect from his family as he trails by, can we please, yes, can we please, can we have some one day, one day without, without what, without what? Without churros? <laughs> Which begs the question, what happened in the days leading up to this moment? How long has this man been dethroned from his role as leader of the family? Couldn't have been just one day. Had to be multiple churros per day, and it couldn't have been two because two days establishes the pattern. We're talking two churros per day, minimum three days. That's six churros that this man had to suffer through because he had lost the respect of his family. 
So ladies, I just want you to stay conscious as you go out for your marches, as you march, and I, I mean that, I'm not talking down on the marches. I love the marches, I'm a marcher. I was born in March, I think. <laughs> Marching is great, I've been to them, they're good, like yes, and that's not condescending, I'm not meaning this condescendingly, I, I mean it. As you march, just keep like, yeah, like keep marching, like yes, yes, I, that's not your sign, that's the black one, but you need one, you should have one. You should have, I don't know what it is, like a, a yeah, yeah, or like, yeah, or whatever, whatever it is. I support, I support. <laughs> as we march for women's everything. All the women marches, all of them, there's a lot. And there should be more, there should be more. It's not like there's too much. Keep doing it. Just let's be conscious of the unseen casualties of a beautiful movement, okay? Because I saw this family a couple hours later, sitting on a bench outside It's a Small World, a churro in each of their hands. <laughs> And as we walked by, I heard the man say to his family, I swear to God, and he looked at them and he goes, well, I hope you guys are satisfied. 